today we are going to tell you a story a story about resilience and a story about relations which ultimately culminates in the new art of conversation but what is resilience very good question what is resilience is the capacity to recover from difficulties and our urban space has a lot of difficulties okay if you just walk out there are waste management problems your bus doesn't arrive on time etc and how do we solve this we have to rely on each other in the city we have to rely on the community people we have to rely on friends and we have to therefore build relationships the first way to uh, kind of cope with these difficulties is that you turn to people and you have to build relations and then what do you do how do you build relations through simple conversation but to make these conversations arrive or go to a particular area which builds resilience we have to have a new art now normally when you want to learn about resilience what do you do you call community people you call students you tell them to come in a auditorium and then you call a expert and who goes on with a presentation normally these presentations are pretty boring okay so what did we do we took a walk and there were these people from the community and they started walking there were doctors engineers students everyone okay and they started connecting you know various things like who owns the footpath if i want to complain about the footpath where do i go uh, bus stop bus timing uh, waste management what do i do and as you can see all of them were talking and there was a conversation but there are many difficulties in our indian cities i completely understand that but what is important what was important for us was that let's look at something which is beautiful which is good and how can we learn from those good things Actually. so we found a street which was very well maintained in fact we observed it for some time over these community walks and we found that there must be a sweeper who was responsible for cleaning it correct so we should facilitate it so we started both of us started you know figuring out where this sweeper is it took us two months it took us two months we ran various uh, Uh, you know alleys etc did we find or facilitate this person who was responsible yes we did that. we actually took two months to figure this person and facilitate him he was absolutely ecstatic that how come to normal people you know facilitate a sweeper it is it is doesn't happen in our in our society so we did that and 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 we thought that from this experience we should actually scale it up so we had to put some structure so go ahead um that's right i mean to put that structure it was really important that first of all we should know that what are the stakeholders of our society if we are talking about socially and ecological resilient society so we did this thing that we understood ourselves first and then we make it understood that community wherever we are working at present of course so these four stakeholders are of course academia industry policy community and free flow of correct information within these stakeholders are very very important and that's what we are are doing and that's where the this new era of conversation comes in and how we are doing it of course uh, uh, we are doing this over simple conversations uh, we have been developed lot of uh, methods which are basically not invasive and and this is one of them we are just uh, conversing with uh, local community people in a park now it's not like uh, uh, different stakeholders are not trying their hard on doing their bit but it's just the method which we are trying to you know uh, communicate with different stakeholders of our society at community level even it's not bit appropriate and that's where we are that's what we are doing and what we have realized the kind of framework or platform is missing where different stakeholders can come together and they can discuss uh, their issues and figure out ways and that's why we have been creating resilient centers at local level and these resilient centers are basically of course i'm talking about that it's an interface between academia industry policy community so uh, we have been uh, developing these centers specifically at academic institutions because you know they have also their aim that they have uh, to meet the objective or or, or say aim of uh, liberal education socialization and social change and and by creating these centers at academic institutions can meet both the objective social society is resilient uh, resilient and and both the things so th this is what we have been doing uh, and the 
other thing we have been realizing and we have actually understood that you know at community level if something or anything which is not working which we are actually complaining most of the time it's not about that people are not aware or or it's like people are not willing to you know do something or it's about corruption it's just the method or platform is missing and that's where this resilience center comes in now uh, this resilience center is actually doing great job like it's coming up with something called atlas resilience atlas and this is a kind of complete booklet which talks about you know what is uh, the need of that particular locality or community what community wants and how how you can or anybody can help that community or locality and of course this can be used as a reference purposes for uh, local policy uh, people or it can be used by any academia or local researcher or whosoever want to work at the locality uh, level as well now while working all these things we have realized of course that you know uh, there is some role of money and many more thing and i think that's where this financial gradient uh, comes in thank you so one very important part as you can see we are trying to complete an ecosystem finance is of course extremely important in that so we were looking at sustainability development projects and there are four kinds of finance or four sources of finance depending on its nature which comes in which is equity debt public finance and grants now what we understood is combining their ratios is a very useful method of tracking or making these projects more healthy that is known as financial gradients but there was something more important which had come up that is finance alone was not the important thing there was something else which was wow. decision making yes. decision making is an extremely important thing and we have to understand decision making in three ways one is at the global level one is at the national level and one is at our individual or firm level global level we have things like precautionary principle should we take action for climate or not at a global level precautionary principle says yes we should now the second thing is say national and and subnational especially urban management this comes in at at, our, uh, at that level uh, robust decision making is very important which is you have to be robust long term inclusive and participatory okay finally optimal decision making that is at the individual level you are trying to maximize your utility or at the firm level you are trying to uh, maximize your returns so npv irr are these tools which you can use there but for our purposes what was difficult was to find a methodology or something which is appropriate for that urban governance level that's where you literally step in oh <laughs> yeah that is something which we what we have come up as called uh, 3i which is basically a full framework which we are implementing at local level which is inform inspire and implement so we are just simply first we are doing informing community of course by a uh, various methods which we are trying to explain here conversation then inspiring them okay several methods and then finally we are trying to implementing them right so we are doing this our bit we are trying hard and and it's working as well but then it was curiosity in our mind as well that whether it's working or not and we we just wanted to know as well and then you know very recently it got clear that of course it's working and this conversation which we are trying to create uh, it's it's doing well and it was very evident clear in one of our recent event on air quality actually it was organized by one of our uh, local resilience center in one of our locality uh, and there uh, you know all community stakeholders which i am trying to tell you here is academia industry policy community they all came together and that um, uh, that event was end up with this something called charter and that charter signing charter and that charter was nothing but an action plan which community wanted to happen at that particular locality and now this charter action plus plan is now known by district magistrate of that particular area is knowing and he is taking actions started i mean action has been started local councilor everyone is knowing now you know as far as air quality of that local area is concerned what actions are taking so so it's the conversation which we are trying to uh, do is working well i guess the other aspect of social resilience which we are covering is police public partnership uh, this is we we are calling it new ppp a uh, new police public partnership generally we heard is like private public partnership so this is new pa partnership for social resilience 
And now it's time for declare. Yeah, now it <laughs> declare is. Declare something. So all these people who are coming in and in this conversation, for example, I've heard that most TED Talks are one person. But just having a TED Talk with two people was a huge challenge. Now, for this particular air quality program in the charter which we was talking about, there are at least 40 different conversations. I'll just read out a part of the charter socially acceptable, culturally suitable, environmentally sustainable, technology friendly. People from the locality actually came up with this particular words, okay? Each word is a separate conversation, maybe many more conversations. Just for one act, we are having 40 different conversations. Now, it is important that just these two people having a challenge yeah. But it is a fantastic journey so far. Okay, Actually. I would just go one step further. This new art of conversation, what we are doing for social resilience, is actually the correct social network. The new art of conversation actually should be the birth of the new social network. Thank Actually. you so much. Thank you very much.